Okay, this is a short video for the removal of the platter on a BIC 940 turntable. So this turntable goes back probably to 1980 or 1979. <clears throat> it hasn't been used in probably 10 or 20 years. <clears throat> um, yeah, the platter was stuck, wouldn't come off now. Checked on the inter internet and um, the technique which um, I saw mentioned was to use penetrating oil um, around that center and then to use a soldering iron in there to heat up. The soldering iron won't go in all the way. Uh, it ends up going in to that spindle and it heats up the spindle. Now, I did this for about four days four or five days. Um, each time I put the soldering iron in there for, let's say, a couple hours. So I just put it in there, let it sit there. And I would spray the uh, penetrating oil around, let it sit, and I would try pulling up uh, with no, no success. And um, so today I tried a bigger soldering iron. The smaller one is uh, 35 watts. What I had seen on the internet was 40 watts, but I had a heavy duty soldering iron, which is 100 watts. What I did was I retracted the tip as far as in it would go so that I would only heat the top of the spindle. I didn't want to heat any further down because I looked in there. I didn't know what was going on down in the bottom. I didn't want any extra heat possibly to damage something. I've damaged enough stuff. So I know it's not hard. Um, anyway, I, I put it in. Uh, first, I tried using it just to heat the top like that. I just rested it on the top. I tried that for 10 or 15 minutes. After that didn't seem to work, I put it at an angle to try to heat the upper part of it. Um, by putting it in at an angle, the tip actually makes contact with the uh, side. If I put it in like this, uh, it doesn't necessarily make good contact, so you kind of wonder, where's all that heat going? You're going to heat up. You want it to go into the spindle, so... Anyway, I liked putting it in at an angle because then I also didn't have to put it in as far. I could leave it up, mostly heating just the part at the top. Now. Because it's made of metal, the heat would get transferred downward, but I wouldn't get an excessive amount of heat at the bottom. I did notice, for example, after taking it off, it did start moving. First, I started noticing that when I tipped it this way, it started moving without having the little keyed slot move. Now, that was a sign that the platter is starting to break free from the spindle. So then I started applying more upper pressure and it did come off. Now I did notice that there is a rubber O-ring, for example. That's the sort of thing that might get damaged if there's too much heat that gets directed to the bottom of this. Honestly, you know, I don't know how hard it would be to damage that, but fortunately that looks fine. And I'm going to say, I don't know if this turntable is going to run again, but because I probably have to, you know, do a lot of lubricating underneath here, but I, this is like, the first step. Okay, just wanted to share that. Thanks.